Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lombi again and I'm back with another not so banging video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Lombi. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share. In today's video, someone just said mowing the lawn. Anyway, in today's video, I will be showing you guys my COVID experience. It's not funny, but I'll be laughing because that's how I deal with my problems. It's a serious situation. People think COVID is a joke. It's just a scam. It's real. You have it. You get it. You're going to realize how real it is. I, I, I miss some days in this vlog. This wasn't every day. There was days when I couldn't even record. Uh, but now my bad symptoms are gone. I just have a fever every night. I've lost my appetite. Uh, my body is getting hungry, but I, I don't have appetite. So sometimes I feel so weak. I can't get out of the bed. This is what I have to be drinking because I don't have appetite. But I'm better, you know, I don't want anyone to worry about me. Don't start crying. <laughs> don't start crying, I'm not gonna die, I ain't gonna die. Uh, I'm not gonna try to look cute in this video. This is raw footage, like this is not even a lie. Um, I didn't even record everything because a lot of the experience, I don't want to just scare you guys, okay? Yeah, make sure you guys take care of yourself. Something that really helped me was I kept praying with my family and it's just by God that I I happen to be sitting here and laughing like this even though I'm not okay if you get COVID if you get sick don't ask God why God God how can you do that to me you know God doesn't God doesn't wake up and say oh hey let me make Lombe sick the whole time I kept thanking God for life I said I'm, I'm sick but I woke up today um, people have died but I woke up today so you have to make sure throughout everything you keep praying and you keep thanking God for life people have been asking me Lombe why are you wearing a mask like why are you wearing a mask in the house I wasn't ready to tell you guys yet so now I said it it's not something to stigmatize anyone about like you people will have covid and don't be like ah, she has covid oh, oh i can't talk to her those are bad manners <laughs> and please if you're my relative don't come and start saying no why did you put about it it's it's my life it's my story and i love my subscribers enough to caution them and let them know this is a real situation yeah but anyway let's jump into this video today is 16th january 2021 um i have a flu and i low-key think it's covid for various reasons i have a, i woke up with a headache as well a terrible migraine actually my eye hurts my eye hurts. <laughs> my eye is pain this is not even supposed to be funny i figured i should record how my week is gonna go god got me though so I'm about to get swabbed. I'm about to get swabbed. <laughs> Elfolate. Ah, this is fun. Like, Can you swab in the mouth though? What? No. Ah, ah. no. Your friend did a swab for lies. My amazing tick tissue doesn't. Oh, next time last. Please, next time last. Oh. Twenty years. You know, you have to see one side. Twenty years. Who's next? Like, no, oh my days. Oh, Who told you? Pain tolerance is just your No, they wait for you to do it. We'll see if you cry. If you cry, I'm deep. No. Oh. No, I cannot. Go up. Your leg, your head, back, back. What? I didn't feel anything. Like, I thought if I didn't feel it. <laughs> I'm fine, you. Yeah. Hey, you nice. keep going. Hey, Mosha, keep going. See? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so weird. That was painless. Social media is a scam. Social media really exaggerates the situation. I don't know if I sound sick. I actually blacked for a long time. Um, until tomorrow, nobody can knows. Hi guys. Today is day three. Um, I couldn't breathe. Uh, I've been feeling cold. I've been having a fever. So now, um, can you guys see me? So now I'm going to the hospital to get double checked because my results haven't come out, but my symptoms are tripping, so I'm gonna check. Okay, so I'm editing and I forgot to mention, I don't know if I recorded myself saying that, I don't think I did. But I was on my way to the hospital because I was feeling pain in my lungs and I was feeling very cold. So my dad was like, no, let's go to the hospital, let's go check. He need to do a full blood count just to make sure your vital organs are okay. At that point, I didn't know my results. And then right before I left, he got a call 
from the man who swabbed us and said oh yeah um she's positive but yeah i got my blood test and he said everything was fine i don't worry about my vital organs but i was still sick the point is i was positive oh hi guys today is day four. Oh, look at my eyebrows <laughs> Today is day four. Lombe wasn't so invincible. So basically, um, I went to the hospital because I wasn't feeling well and I picked my results and it so happens that they came up positive. Yeah. Um yeah. This is the story of how I got COVID and how I survived it. <laughs> um I thought I would panic when I heard it, but I'm not panicking because you know i know my relationship with god and i know where i stand with god and i just didn't panic you know i was not scared like, oh my day is i'm gonna die you know i'm like god got me well you know the vibes like <laughs> yeah, but at the end of the day uh the situation just became realistic to me it's like wow so it's not a hoax it's not a lie so i was here watching this little covid experience of mine um make sure you guys take care of yourselves it's not about no i'm not going out i'm gonna stay home I, I i didn't go out the whole week it came to me because someone went out and came in with it so even within your house like your friends in your house your siblings in your house your siblings go out don't be like oh, i see my brother my brother can't have it anybody can have it you know you do your foot killer you do your body do those things do all that stuff but above all else make sure you pray make sure you have a good relationship with god because at the end of the day even if you die you want to make sure you die a righteous person you want to make sure you die having a good relationship with god because you know he's going to wake you up you're going to resurrect and not dying a fool you go to hell don't do that <laughs> make sure you build a relationship with god okay i wish you guys all the best i'll try to vlog throughout the throughout everything just so i keep my spirits high and yeah hi guys life update <laughs> today's day Six. and i feel so much better i feel good i feel covid free <laughs> i didn't record myself yesterday because i don't know i think i just forgot to but yesterday i just had a really bad cough I, my voice went now i feel better i can breathe um been taking medication all that stuff it's good i've been praying and um yeah i've been praying i've been communing i've been doing all the necessary things i have to do and i look terrible right now but guys forgive me i've covid <laughs> i'm making this video just to tell you guys that you know it's for real it's not a joke like it's actually for real and you should take it seriously and you should pray i lost an aunt yesterday it was really sad but we have to pray because we don't know when our lives will expire so you know yeah anyway that's the end of today's vlog hi guys tomorrow will be a week into my covid i feel like i've lost weight um change of vaccine i feel extremely better today i'm just having body pain but i feel better today i've been keeping myself busy i'm so sorry that this is the most boring vlog ever but trust me by sunday by sunday i'll be okay i'll make a story time about how i got covid but anyway happy summer ow that just took a whole lot of energy ah hi guys <laughs> Look, I have a is inside. Um, today is day. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Today is day eight, and I am not feeling great today. I feel completely weak. I have lost appetite. I haven't eaten proper food in two days because I just don't have taste. I don't have appetite. If you lost anyone, I'm really sorry about that. My condolences. One thing I can advise you guys to do is don't test when you feel sick because some people don't show symptoms okay some people only have a headache make sure you get tested even if you're not having symptoms so you know if you're okay like get tested frequently and if you have any problems like blood pressure if you have diabetes or any underlying illness you have to be the most cautious person because you're most likely to die faster than someone who's just like doesn't have any underlying illness so take it seriously i got covid at home i wasn't going out meeting people it came home to me don't sit and be like oh it's my sibling i can just hug them like without a mask i got covid at home you have to take it seriously wear your mask do your steaming take those herbs everything that's what's helped us a lot and have a lot of rest and exercise this is not just some random disease you just wake up and it's like you can wear your mask you can do whatever i went to the hospital and got my temperature checked guys my temperature was 36.5 so don't just think that oh i've checked my temperature oh i'm fine no 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 no. it's really just by god that i'm standing here right now 
and the whole time i've been so thankful to god because out of this bad experience something good happened my family got closer we you know built a relationship with god stronger relationship with god that's what i'm happy about so i feel like i got it for a reason i'm not blaming god my body is tired i'm very tired i'm out of breath <laughs> i'm very very tired but i'm not complaining the worst thing you can do is complain to god always be thankful to god i'm i'm tired <laughs> some of you have been giving me stress and headaches while i'm sick you're giving me stress and headaches like giving me high fevers with your idiosyncrasy when i'm sick god will punish you for making a sick person stress you know yourself <laughs> don't be giving me headache <laughs> cheers I'll be, I'll be back harder and stronger. Let me tell you guys something. This video is making me laugh because this video is about me. As, as people are coming on this video thinking that I'm going to be talking about this. <laughs> someone, someone is watching this video shaking, shambles, thinking I'm coming to address them. And nobody got time for that. I know you're obsessed with me. <laughs> you should know me by now. I don't have the energy. I'm confused your name is. I love all of you guys. Take care of yourself. Wear your masks. Make sure you steam. Okay, now I'm having body pains by talking too much. My lungs they are paining, so now I have to go. Bye. Bye. Anyway, anyway, if I hit it one time, it will be better days. Yeah. Cause you can tell them you ain't into me. But when I pull up in the range, it will be meant to be. Don't want no enemies. Want you to better me. If I did something illegal, would you pay for me? Would you